Hello developers today i am going to show you how to create a simple ai application using gemini ai client sdk on december 2023 the google has launched the most capable gemini ai models from the time it was launched every android developer was excited to integrate the artificial intelligence into their android applications so in this video i am going to demonstrate how to access gemini api directly from your android app using google ai client sdk so don't skip the video and watch till the end this is the gemini api tutorial page we are following the instructions and steps given in this page to create an android ai application you can get started with gemini using a programming language of your choice i want to use ai for my android app so i have selected gemini for android So first check the prerequisites Android Studio latest version and the Android app must target API level 21 or higher okay i am opening my android studio i am using the latest version that is cola here i am assuming that you are familiar with using android studio to develop android apps because in this video i am not going to show you how to download and use the android studio okay let's create a new ai project select new project here you can see the gemini api starter template this you can find in the android studio versions cola and higher only select this and click next write the project name this is my first ai application so i am writing first ai app check the package name select the build configuration language kotlin is the recommended language if you are familiar with java then you can select groovy dsl then select next creates a starter app for using the gemini api and here we need to enter api key for first time we don't have api key we can generate api key with google ai studio click on this link select the google account to log into google ai studio It is better if you use the same Google account as your Google Play console account. Okay, this is the Google AI Studio legal notice page. Acknowledge the terms of service. Click on continue. You can create a new project if you don't have one already or add API keys to an existing project. Okay, create API key first. safety settings reminder okay got it select create api key in new project if you are integrating gemini api in the existing project you can select from here okay click here for new project yes api key generated use your api key securely do not share them or embed them in code the public can view okay this is the key click on copy come back to android studio paste the api key click finish it is building this new gemini api starter project it takes time so be patient Yes the project was created successfully So we have created the new project and we have set up the API key Next secure your API key so the key should be added to local.properties and then use the secrets gradle plugin for android to read your API key as a build configuration variable Go to gradle scripts open local.properties Yes the API key was added here automatically and the API key has to be accessed as build configuration variable in the code okay let's open the activity class okay not here open baking view model class yes the API key was accessed as build config value next add sdk dependency to your project open modules build.gradle file Yes the generative ai was already added 
all these were automatically done because we have used the gemini api starter template while creating the project but if you want to use this gemini api into the existing project then you need to add them manually api key sdk dependency and all to your project okay everything is on place now build the project run the project yes the app is installed successfully this is the auto prompt provide a recipe for the baked goods in the image okay click on go yes this is the ai response for the question recipe ingredients and instructions were given let's change the question what is there in the image okay there is a cupcake with white frosting and rainbow sprinkles and a cherry on top okay this was described about the first image okay let's ask what is there in the third image there is a stack of chocolate chip cookies correct So this sample AI project created was an example of a multimodal use case that is generating text from text and image input So there are other use cases also generate text from text only input generate text from text and image input this we have seen in our project then build multi turn conversation that is AI chat application So you can use Gemini AI SDK to build three types of applications like this. Okay, now let me show you how to use Gemini API to generate text from text only input. Click here. This is the code to be integrated. For that, first create an XML file where we can enter the prompt, click on a button to get the answer from API. but instead of writing xml i want to use gemini tool to write the code for me click on this gemini tool window on right side if you don't find it here go to view menu option select tool windows click on gemini here okay to access this coding companion we need to log into google first select the google account continue allow android studio to submit data Yes, successfully logged in for Gemini in Android Studio. Go back to Android Studio. Now you can post any question to get an answer from Gemini AI tool. Okay, I want to ask write XML code with an input text field, a prompt button and an output text view. Click submit. Okay the xml code was given with the fields now create xml file and copy this xml code go to resource new android resource file select resource type layout the file name i am giving as activity gemini now open the file copy the xml code from the tool window Okay this is how it looks on the screen Change the hint to prompt and change the button to go Okay change the text size to avoid this error touch target size too small change the field names also edit text input button go and output okay layout file created 
Now we need to write the code to access these fields. So I am using Gemini AA tool only again. Write code to get values from ET input, button go and output. Okay, I want Kotlin code. Now submit. Yes, this is the code with the given fields. Okay, create Kotlin class file, Gemini AI activity. Now copy this code from tool window, paste it in the class file. Change the activity name to our class name. Clear the errors. Add dependency and uh, import. Okay. Change the layout file name to activity Gemini. Yes. So all the fields are initialized. ET input, button go and output. See the names also it has given perfectly. On button click listener, getting the text from input field, processing the input text and the process text was added to output text view. Perfect. Now we need to replace only the processing input text with our actual Gemini AI API algorithm. Go to the developer page. Copy this Kotlin code. Getting the text from input text using Gemini Generative Model API. Replace it here in place of process input text. Okay, clear the errors by importing the library. So it is using the generative model Gemini 1.5 Flash the current AA version and API key to process the input text. Here I am removing the auto prompt text and sending input text entered by the user and the response text has to be set to output text view. Oh, there is an error. Suspend function generate content should be called only from a coroutine or another suspend function. Okay, we can fix this by calling this function inside run blocking. Let's do that. Yes, now no errors. Everything is alright. Let's build the project. Okay, build successful. Oh yeah, we need to add this Gemini AI activity to the manifest. Instead of main activity, launch the Gemini AI activity class we created. Okay, now let's run the project. Delete the old app. Run again. Oh, application got closed. Some problem. Let's check the log cat. Unable to start activity. Illegal state exception. You need to use a theme.app compat theme with this activity. Okay, open manifest file. The theme it is using is first AI app theme. But we have to use app compact theme here as per the lock cat error. So change it to app compact dot day night dot no action bar. Now run the project once again. Yes, got a text field with prompt hint. Let's test the AI SDK. 
okay let me ask java or kotlin which one is better for android app development click on go yes the response was added to output text view both java and kotlin are excellent choices for android app development each with its own strengths and weakness okay blah 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 okay let's ask another question need to know about freelancing projects click on go this is a freelancing project guide received from gemini ai stk so this way we can apply the artificial intelligence in our android apps using gemini ai stk but we can consider accessing gemini on device for use cases that involve processing sensitive data offline availability or for cost savings for frequently used user flows you may want to consider accessing gemini nano which runs on device this gemini nano comes in android os itself we can access this using google ai edge sdk but this nano is available currently in google pixel 8 and samsung s24 series android devices only this gemini nano we will cover it in another video hope you got better idea on gemini ai api and how to use google ai client sdk in our app to create an ai android app if you think this video is helpful for you please comment like the video and subscribe to iraka tech solutions thank you